Hello all and welcome to this hands-on lab. In our lab today, we will learn how to generate an app with Party Rock. A couple of things to keep in mind before we proceed further ahead. Party Rock is free while I am recording this lab. Hence, please check if it's still free while you do this hands-on lab and also check how many credits you have before creating an app. Prerequisites for this hands-on lab is knowledge of Party Rock. Hence, if you do not know what this service is all about, please refer to this overview and demo video that I had created some time back. URL to the video is mentioned right here. I will also have it posted in the description of this video. These are some reference URLs. I would certainly encourage you to visit them as they have additional information about this particular topic. Scenario for our lab today. We need to create an application that suggests baby names depending on baby's date of birth and gender. So it's pretty straightforward. Let us see how we can go about creating this app. So first go to Party Rock and this is the URL. Sign in with your third party credentials and click on build your own app. So this is Party Rock. I'm already signed in and this is build your own app right here at the bottom. So I'm gonna click on that. So we have completed these two steps. Now in the app builder box, that is this particular box, we need to paste this particular statement. Create an application that suggests baby names depending on baby's date of birth and gender. And then click on generate app. So I'm going to copy this from here. Okay, so this is the whole sentence and I'm going to put it on notepad to remove any special characters. All right, so I'm going to copy this now and now paste it right here and then click on generate app. So I've clicked on generate app and please be patient. It takes a few seconds, sometimes even a minute to generate the app depending upon the complexity. So it took a few seconds as you see. So it's calling the, uh, the app as baby name astrologer, which is fine. It gives its own name. And this is the uh, app description. So it's taking this app suggests baby names based on baby's date of birth and gender. Enters baby due date and gender. And the app will generate a list of suitable names for you to choose from. So now we have completed all of these steps all these steps now check the titles and the default values of all the widgets so now let's go back and this is a title let's click on this edit button default value i'm going to give a default value as today's date and save it and i'm going to again check this particular widget which is a gender widget and i'm going to give the default value as female you could give anything that you like Okay, so female and suggested names. So we have completed this step. Check the model and for the name suggestions widget. So this is the name suggestions widget. Of course, the name over here suggested names. Let's click on edit. Suggested names. You can give whatever title that you like over here. The model that it is using is cloud three. That's fine. And Suggest a list of 10 baby names suitable for gender, baby born on due date based on the zodiac sign and other cultural astrological factors associated with that date. Present the names in an easy to read bulleted list. So I think I am fine with that. Save. So that's the prompt. Okay, so now we have today's date. I'm gonna hit enter. Gender is female, so I'm going to hit enter. And now, if you see, it's basically working over here to generate a list of names. Let's see what it comes up with. So, it's a female born today. 
that is 324. And these are some suggested names of the babe females, female babies born today. The zodiac sign is Aries. Um, these are some names that it has given. You can see it's a mix of Latin, Italian, you know, Sanskrit, Hawaiian, French, Scandinavian, depending upon, you know, whichever name that you would like to pick. And of course, um, since the zodiac sign is Aries, one of the name is Aries by itself. And I believe the app is working pretty well. Now let's do one thing. Let's make this like 12, 24, 20, 20, 24, and this, the gender as male. Hit enter and let's see what names it comes back with. So it's a baby boy and it has suggested a few names. Remember that 1224 is around Christmas. So Noel, Castor, Bodhi. Bodhi is a Sanskrit word. Orion, Jasper, Frost, because it's winter. And a couple of names. So you can see it is it has come with a mix of names between French, Hebrew, Greek, Sanskrit, and Irish and Persian names. So it's your choice, but that's how it came up with 10 baby names. And we have basically completed these two steps. So this is how you go about creating a very simple app, right? Using a prompt via Party Rock. Remember, the magic behind the scenes is done by the Party Rock app builder. Now, this is the first way to create an app. So, if you go back to my overview video, I've, I have basically discussed the three ways of creating an app. This is the first way wherein you give one to three sentences, basically as prompts, and then it will basically understand what you're trying to do and generate an app for you. So it does most of the heavy lifting over here for you. Of course, I will create additional uh, hands-on labs with the remaining two methods. So hopefully this lab was helpful. Do post your comments. And this is it from me today. Thank you and have a nice day.